In this video I'm going to look at fractional indices and I'm going to just assume that you're happy with things like uh, x to the 7 times x to the 5 being x to the 12 or 4 to the 8 divided by 4 cubed being 4 to the 5 using those basic rules of indices things like that. Um, so if not look back at the video on those. In this video I really want to look at what something like 9 to the 1 half would mean and why and some extensions. So if I took 9 to the 1 half and multiplied it by itself then by one of the rules I've just mentioned I'm assuming you're familiar with this should be equal to 9 to the 1 half plus 1 half assuming those rules still work uh, and that would be 9 to the 1 and 9 to the power of 1 is just 9. So 9 to the half is a number that when you multiply it by itself we get 9. So if 9 to the half is x, I've got x times x, which is x squared, uh, that equals 9. So it's quite reasonable to say that we'll define 9 to the 1 half as the square root of 9, uh, which is 3 here. And so if I wanted 16 to the 1 half, that'll be 4. If I wanted 49 to the 1 half, that would be 7. If I was to do 137 to the 1 half, that would be the square root of 137. So if I wanted 9 to the 3 over 2, say, well I could say that's 9 to the 1 and a half, so 9 to the 1 plus 1 half, and that's 9 to the 1 times 9 to the half by the addition rule for indices, and that's 9 times the square root of 9, which is 9 times 3, which is 27. Uh, if I wanted to do 16 to the 5 over 2, I could say that's 16 to the 2 and a half, so that's 16 squared times 16 to the 1 half, which is 256 times the square root of 16, which is 4. And that gives me 1024. You could also get to the same result here by saying 9 to the 3 over 2 for the first one here is 9 to the 1 half cubed by the multiplication rule uh, for indices. Uh, which is 3 cubed, which is 27. Uh, similarly here we could say it's 16 to the 1 half all to the 5, which is 4 to the 5, and you can check that that's also 1024. Um, so all these different rules, you know, the idea is um, we're adding to the rules but we're not changing any of the logic of what's gone before. Um, if you wanted to actually here as well you could say it's 9 cubed to the, to the 1 half, uh, so it's 9 cubed is uh, 729, so it's the square root of 729, and that is 27. So we could do this the other way as well, but you know I don't really want to have to work out what 16, uh, 16 to the 5 is, so I'd usually do it the other way. Although um, actually I've got the calculator here in the background, and that is 1048576, uh, and so the square root of that must be 1024. So all these rules do work together. So that's some fractional indices just with one half powers in them. What about other fractions other than halves? Well, what about a third? Eight to the one third. Now this one, if I multiplied it by itself three times by that addition rule, I should get eight to the one third plus one third plus one third. So that's eight to the one, or just eight. So this here is a number, you know, x times x times x is eight. So it's a number when you multiply it by itself three times you get 8. So I would say here that that x is the cube root of 8. In this case that would be 2 then. So actually uh, just as we had x to the 1 half is the square root of x, we've got x to the 1 third is the cube root of x. So again I could have 27 to the 1 third, uh, that would be 3. We could have 27 to the 4 thirds, that would be 27 to the 1 and a third, so that's 27 to the 1, which is 27, times 27 to the 1 third, which is 27 times 3, which is uh, 81. And we could also get there by saying that it's 27 to the 1 third, all to the 4, which is 3 to the 4, and that's also 81. Again, everything here is consistent if it's together. We can extend this to more general powers, so if I had, let's say I've got 
x to the 1 quarter, what would that be? Well, if I multiply that by itself four times, again the rule for powers here says that that should be a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter, that should just be x, so I've got a number that when I multiply it by itself four times I get x, so x to the 1 quarter is the fourth root of x. Similarly, you know, x to the 1 fifth is the fifth root of x. In general, x to the 1 over n is the nth root of x. Okay. So, um, so these are, this is a nice extension of the rules for powers that allows us to write down uh, numbers to fractional powers, and that's something that's really useful. In another video, I've got, uh, I'll do some more examples of different uh, fractional powers and working them out a bit more uh, like this. But that's the basic idea. If you can remember uh, that rule, and once we've understood why it's true, you should try and remember this. Definitely remembering that the half power means the square root of x, and that in general x to the 1 over n is the nth root of x.